by number 21, Martinez, to the right Off the hands, but defense again. And Isabel this time goes heavy with the arm. your boy Chris D, aka Willy Wonka, aka Doobie Man, aka Neo, back in the motherfucking house, back in the house. I gotta watch my language. Uh, I got some really, really exciting news to announce, but I gotta wait to announce that news. 
Uh, but I do want to start some new content uh, as of today, uh, as far as stuff that I'm doing with the channel. One of the things that I'm really excited about doing is covering the Olympics. We got the Olympics coming up in August, and since I live here in the Dominican Republic, I can kind of look at it from a different perspective. I'm not really rooting for the U.S. I got to be honest. I'm rooting for the Dominican Republic. One of the teams that I'm going to be rooting for, besides the Dominican men's baseball team, which is usually pretty good, is the women's, the Dominican Republic women's volleyball team. So I wanted to go through because these women are usually really, really good. And they're very beautiful too. I mean, that has nothing to do with it, but I thought what we would do is meet the squad, go through, see if they got Instagram. If so, give them a follow and like some of their pictures. If y'all with me, let's go. So I thought that first, the first thing we need to do is get up a little bit on the positions because I don't know the positions like that. I'm not familiar with the positions, right? So these are, first of all, the positions for volleyball. You got setter, outside hitter. Uh, I don't know if libero is the name of the, I guess that's a position. Opposite, outside hitter, middle blanca. So let's think about it like if it was in terms of football. So I'm assuming your two, three, and your four is like your offensive lineman, right? And then the person that's serving is like your quarterback. So I'm assuming these, these two probably small and fast. And then these probably your big girls, your big tall girls, because they need to block. So these like the centers and the forwards. And these your guards and small forwards. That I don't know, but we're going to see. So let's see what the team look like. All right, so first we got Anetis Vargas. She plays central. What the fuck is central? I don't know, but let's see if she on Instagram. Let's see. Anetis Vargas. Now, obviously, if they have private profiles, we can't follow them. Uh, but her profile is open. Awesome. So we will definitely follow Anetis Vargas Valdez. Very interesting. So she is... Part of the team again she is our central but we haven't figured out what central means maybe this is the central maybe they mean an outside hitter uh, but let's see maybe we can see if she plays close to the net let's see okay let's see so here is this is her in action okay let's see what we got oh wow she's really tall Ding! Big girl, big tall girl. Look at that. No! Man! All right, okay, okay. We go. I gotta like that. <laughs> Definitely give that a like. So please, uh, this is our... Her position is central. So, Ananis Vargas, she's our central. I, I don't know the names of the positions good, but... She's a very beautiful, awesome center. And she looks to be very tall. So I'm assuming that uh, this is a position where you have to be big, you have to be strong, and you, have to, you need the ability to block, right? So very nice. All right, cool. All right, let's see who else. All right, so we have Mary Ann Fersola, and she also plays central. Uh, so is this the height? No, this is the height. I can't change this to English. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm at, okay, there we go. Okay. All right, so let's see. Mariana Fersola. So 1.91. Europeans are stupid because you walk on feet. You walk on feet, not meters. <laughs> you, don't, you don't walk on meters. You walk on feet. Okay, her account is private. So maybe can we see the fan page? Okay. All right, so this is Mariana in action. Oh, nice block. That's a dig, right? They call that a dig when they block it like that? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay, no, they're on the white. Okay, okay. 
All right, cool, cool, cool. Nice. So she's dope, man, but but she, her page is private, so we definitely respect that. Brenda Castillo, she is my second favorite volleyball player. She plays Lilibero. She's my second favorite. So she is like the, I don't know, I want to say the star of the team, <laughs> but like she's like the Kobe Bryant of the squad. She's like the the Kobe Bryant. She's like the 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 you know what I'm saying? Like the one everyone knows. Uh, her name is Brenda Castillo, official. So please go and give Brenda Castillo official a follow. I know she ain't eating that. She can't be eating that. <laughs> Look how thin she is. Look at that form. Incredible. So again, she is the Librero, Libero. She is the Libero. I'm trying to. Oh wow, really nice. So I don't know. I think she plays close to the net. I love. I hope that they get a lot of sponsorship deals. I would hope that they make millions of dollars in sponsorship deals. If you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, that is... Oh, look at her hair! Oh, come on! That is adorable. I gotta like that. Come on! Look at that. That's too cute. <laughs> Man. Okay, here's a shot of the ladies. The whole team. Okay. Amen. I love a praying woman. And, and she seems to be... You know what I'm saying? And that's why they're going to do well, because they got that spirit in them. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's Brenda. Uh, next, we have Niverica Marte. And her position is Armadora. Armadora, that sounds like hitter, right? Because um, I'm arming, so I'm hitting. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe she's... Maybe she's back here with um, with um, uh, uh, with Brenda. Let's see how tall is she. She's one point seven eight meters. So she's taller than Brenda, but she's not as tall as these girls. So I'm gonna assume that she's probably back here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Again, give Brenda Castillo official a follow and like her photos. Oh, she hasn't posted anything? Okay. Uh, we have the fan page. I don't follow fan pages. <laughs> I only follow official pages. Ain't nobody got no time for that. But it gives us... Oh, wow. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to see her in action. Oof. Oh, nice. Okay, so she's a... She's up there in the front, too. She's up there in the front, too. Okay, and... But, her, again, she, she doesn't have a, a Instagram, so we can't support her. All right, how about Candida Arias? Candida Arias. She is 1.94 meters. Uh, so she's a tall girl. And she also plays central. So, so, so we know what we're getting here. <laughs> We know we got we got a, a lineman uh, up front. You know one of one of our blockers. Okay, her page. Uh, she she wants everyone to follow her. So please stop what you're doing and go and follow Candida and Stephanie Arias Perez. Uh, let's support her and the other ladies. Las Reinas del Caribe. This is the Dominican Republic women's volleyball team and this is the team that they're going to be sending to tokyo this summer so look at the ladies man oh my god look how short uh brenda is <laughs> wow those ladies are tall man so i'm assuming brenda is normal height but look at the rest of them whoa that's some that's like six foot two six foot three there's some big ladies man them are some big Beautiful ladies, incredible, incredible. I'm so excited to support these ladies uh, in the Olympics. Rosalyn Anzelis, I think is how you say it. So she's 
She's a little bit shorter. She's an armor daughter, so she's similar to Neveka. So I'm assuming that she probably plays up front too. Let's see. Oh, she doesn't have an Instagram. So can't follow her. How about Priscilla Rivera? Oh, she's she's I want to say the third short fourth shortest person on the team. And she plays Punta. Punta. That means setter, right? I I wait, Punta. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to say no bad words, but I think that's a bad word, right? <laughs> Is that a bad word? Oh my god. I'm saying the volleyball position, not a bad word. <laughs> okay, so this is Priscilla Rivera. I gotta say it like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She is, what did they call her, an arma? Armadora, perdón. She's an armadora. Uh, let's see, Priscilla in action. Oh, what do we got here? What are we doing? Oh, okay, okay. What do we got? Some exercise? Oh no, that's not it. Um, no shots of her in action, but she's one of our linemen up there in the front, holding it down for the team. Come on, man, holding it down for the team in the front, helping us out, keeping us keeping us secure and safe. Y'all know how them linemen do. That's big seventy six. I don't know why she got on that twelve. She need about a, a sixty four, <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all know them linemen on the front. Get, why do the, why you haven't seen that with them linemen in the front be trying to get skinny nigga numbers? <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's like all you fat niggas out there, y'all need to go and burn them goddamn Brady jerseys. If you fat and you got a Michael Vick jersey, you need to stop it. <laughs> you know you need you one of them big 77s. <laughs> One of them 60, number 62, <laughs> starting left tackle. Quit playing, man. Big ass can't be no goddamn receiver. Stop it. <laughs> so that was Priscilla. All right, we got a few more ladies to get through. Uh, we have another Punta, and she's 1.9. 1.9, so she's pretty tall. Yonkara uh, Peña. So I learned how to say this word. It's not Peña, it's Peña. Like, yeah, in ya, in ya. You have to do that in order for it to, uh, to go right. So it's Peña, Yonkara Peña. I think that's how she would say her name. Uh, God first. Yes, she is also on the team. Team Yonkey was good. I'm down with Team Yonkey. I'm going to give her a follow right now. That's what's up. Let's go. Let's get her up. Uh, let's get her a couple followers today. And let's, social some, let's show her social support on her channel by liking her photos. And then when the Olympics come, we'll be able to uh, follow all the ladies on their adventures uh, in Tokyo. I think this is gonna be incredible and fun. So so again, if you're following along, uh, Yankara Pena, she is our punta. Uh, so we went to, we got three centrals. And look, this is why Brenda Castillo, this is probably why I only know her. Is because there's only one. So I'm assuming uh, Brenda must be the captain of our... She must be our Tom Brady, right? So shout-outs to Brenda Castillo. She's our Tom Brady. She's our... our uh, uh, let's think about it. She's our Kevin Durant. <laughs> she's our... No, she's our Steph Curry because she's little, right? There we go. So, so Brenda Castillo is like our Steph Curry. Uh, there's only one of those positions. So you got three centrals, you got one libero, two armadoras, four puntas, and two opuestas. So we haven't seen the opuestas yet, but they little too. So this, this must be like the shooting guard, right? So if Brenda's our point guard, if Brenda's our John Stockton, uh, because we see that she's, she's one of the youngest on the team, she's 29, uh, or right there in the middle, uh, we do have some older ladies on the team too, but she's like our point guard, so this must be like our shooting guards, the opuestas. Cause oh well, she's really tall. This one is two meters. Dang. So let's see. Young, so we saw Young Kata, right? So we gave her a follow. All right. Um, 
She doesn't have any. Oh, you know, just beautiful ladies. Man, these ladies are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful, man. Incredible. I love living in the Dominican Republic. I got to tell y'all. I love living in the Dominican Republic. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, this is my favorite. Okay. All right. Hold on a second, fellas. I've been following this woman for at least two years. <laughs> at least two years. Thirst, thirst, thirst. The thirst that I have exhibited to this lady. If I was to pull up my Instagram DMs, you would see many, many, many one-sided conversations. <laughs> It's just all me. She never responds. <laughs> but she is my favorite Dominican volleyball player. She's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. She works hard, fam. All she do is work. All she do is work. I appreciate the work ethic, man. All she do is work. If she not hitting them balls, she running around doing stuff, listen, all her videos is just working. I know exactly where they at. They right there off of, uh, in Kennedy, they have the uh, Olympic Training Center. And you can hear, you can hear, saka, when you walk past it. <laughs> Sound like somebody shooting up in that goddamn gym. I am not playing. But this is why she's my favorite, because I love her work ethic. She's just, a, she's just an incredible woman, man. Look at that. Now, I don't know if she's married. I don't know if she has kids. But Lord have mercy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine supporting that? Can you imagine being married to a woman like that? That's on the, on the Dominican volleyball team. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I'm trying to show you, brothers, is that we need to support these ladies. And there's more than just what we see as far as in these places that we like to visit. You know what I'm saying? There's so many other uh, ways to support this country. And one of, my, one of my favorite ways is to support the ladies that's out here grinding Trying to get theirs on. So we definitely going to like this one. That's definitely a like. I already like that one. Come on, man. Come on, man. And I'm going to go ahead and like that one, too. So sh her name is Gina Mambru. Gina Mambru. I really hope that I'm pronouncing these names correctly. Um, she is... Wow. It's a good age, man. 35, you know. About time to hang up them spurs, right? Maybe have a family. Somebody out there. That might be for somebody. Who knows? You never know. Maybe she's married. Maybe she's not. Who knows? This is the same thing that sisters do when they be looking in the draft. <laughs> Ain't this what, what, what they be doing in the shade room? Uh, I'm the I'm the male version of the shade room up in here. <laughs> she ain't got no kids. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why that's funny to me. She got no kids. She got a good job. <laughs> that's what they be doing. Bethania de la Cruz. Bethania de la Cruz. She is our punta, our third punta. Now, they're showing the teams that they've played for professionally because most of these women have to travel overseas in order to earn money. Um, they don't get a lot of sponsorships here. You never see the Dominican volleyball team on commercials or like on billboards and ads. And um, I don't know. I think that's kind of sad. So even if it was just like in that Instagram, I really don't understand. Oh, boy. I really don't understand why they that a lot of companies would not want to be supporting them, uh, especially now they're about to go to, to go to the Olympics. So before we continue with Big Beth, um, I want to show you guys something real quick. If you want to follow them on Twitter, this is the Twitter page that they have. Las Reinas del Caribe is the hashtag, and the web and the uh, Twitter follow would be right here. So V-O-L-E-I-F-E-M-R-D. Or just look, and then there's a, they have a Facebook page too, if you want to follow the Facebook page. Um, so this is, this is where they are. They are going to be in group A, all right? 
And look at who all up in, in there. They, they got Brazil, South Korea, Japan, Kenya, and Serbia. So listen, man, we got a shot. We got a shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a shot, man. I, I, I'm feeling good about their chances. I don't know what Japan... I'm scared of Japan and I'm scared of South Korea. I can't wait till they play Brazil. <laughs> We watching that game live, fam. Y'all with me? We go. We go. Pop a beer. We go. Watch. We go. We gonna watch that game live. If I can stream it, I definitely will. But we gonna watch uh, Republic, uh, Dominican Republic, and Brazil. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. So here's Big Beth. Y'all remember we said Big Beth is our punta, our third, and it looks like she's the captain of the team. Nice, captain. So this is our captain, captain of the team, right? She's a queen to the a oh, queen to the queen. Okay, all right. Queen of queens, the queen to the queen. Big Beth, the Big Beth. So it would now in English and native English, it would just be Big Beth. But because Spanish speakers have a tendency to add the masculine or the feminine before the adjective, that's why she calls herself the Big Beth. But what she's really saying is that um, she's Big Beth. <laughs> Big Beth in action. Let's get it back, Big Beth. Let's get it, Big Beth. They're not going to copyright me. They're not going to copyright me. No. <laughs> we like that. Big Beth getting that work in. Let's go. Getting ready for... Y'all already... Oh, man. She got... Is it just me or does, does she got mad Serena William vibes? Right? The, like, don't this picture give mad Serena William vibes? No? Is it just me? That's the first thing I thought of when I saw that. Big Beth like to... Ex okay, so hold on. Here we go. The Big Beth in action. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's my... That's my backside. I've been a back boy. Beth, I've been a bad boy. Thank you. May I have another, please? Thank you. May I have another, please? <laughs> May I have another, please? <laughs> Big Beth, man, and that's our captain. We got two more ladies. We got Anna Yokira Beignet. Beignet. I don't know. Uh, she also plays Punta, and she's one point. But she's so sh she's so little. <laughs> Can anybody tell me how the meters work? If anybody's watching this in the chat right now, I'm too lazy to research that right now. Can anybody tell me? No, you lying. Bill Cosby is not getting out today. Stop playing. Yo, it's a celebration. It's a celebration. That's crazy. It's a good day today, man. Uh, okay, so Anna Yorkira Bene, okay? I gotta make sure that I'm following these ladies too. I think I, I think I got them all. I love that all of these women, and you're gonna see this a lot with Dominican women, is their um, bios usually have something uh, with God in it. And it's because a lot of Dominican women are very uh, Christian. You know, like, they, they have a very... Christian foundation and it's looked at as like kind of like a badge that you wear like I'm a Christian I'm a mother I'm a you know what I'm saying like like it's like almost like you know like you got that patch on your arm like yep I'm a Christian you feel me but for them it's very real uh, it's, it's just a little bit different like they take their religion very serious especially women in positions like this when you're talking about women that are athletes, women that are that are um, not so much the actresses and, and like those type of women, but like the professional women, all of them are going to have something like uh, uh, I serve Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, those type of things in the bio. Uh, so your your kid, 06, we're following her now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, she doesn't. She seems to post more about uh, her personal life uh, as opposed to, you know, 
the uh, the volleyball team. But I love this picture. Now we get to finally see the heights. Thank you, Yokita, for this photo. All right, so where's Big Beth? I don't see Big Beth. Is this Big Beth? Maybe this is Big Beth. This is, um, so, or maybe down here, that might be her. And then that was at the other lady, An Anettis. There's Anettis right here. There's Nikki. Uh, there's, uh, I'm sorry, Nikki, I, I meant Brenda. There's Brenda, Brenda Castillo. Oh, look, and there's your kidda. There's her. We don't know uh, some of these ladies. Uh, we, where's Gina? Oh, there's Gina uh, with the braids. So yeah, man, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I think, oh, we got one more. Uh, Bra Braylon Martinez. And she is the tallest player. I, w I bet that this is, I bet that's her. But let's see. That, I don't know if that's, if that's Big Beth. I can't tell. Maybe Big Beth wasn't there that day. Oh, yeah, see? Yep, yeah, that's her. That was her. That's that. I think this is her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is Braylon Martinez. Uh, she is our opuesta, and we only have two of those. So she is the other opuesta along with Gina. So I would imagine that her and Gina are probably pretty close. But I don't know. I. I oh boy. Oh wow. Beautiful lady. Oh look at. Them. I love her smile. I just love their smiles, man. Dominican women have some of the most authentic, real smiles, just beautiful, warms your heart type smiles. Now, a lot of her photos are probably where she was playing with her professional team. Not, oh boy, Lord have mercy. Jesus help me. Not where she was, um, oh, not where she was, uh, uh, man, not where she was playing. Okay. <laughs> Trying to keep it together, man. I am not trying to get any strikes or anything like that uh, on this video. So that was the um, the Dominican Republic's uh, volleyball team. Oh, before I forget, uh, I don't know if you fellas are watching any of this, but me, man, I love the Olympics. In the 100, it's going to be a... Oh, man, I can't wait for the 100. I'm not even talking about the men's, but I'm talking about the women's. Dude, from the U.S., we got a new up-and-comer. We got uh, old girl Shikardi Richardson, and she ran a 10-8. I used to run track, but I used to run a 400. So I, and I was never no good, but I, I love following that shit. I love following that. So for those of you who don't know, we got, we got a young and upcomer. Her name is Kari... Uh, Shikari Richardson. She ran a um, uh, a, a ten eight six, which is which is not bad. I mean, now the problem is, problem is, real talk. Court overturned this case. What? <laughs> Listen, man. Bill better take that win and go sit his ass down somewhere. <laughs> better take that win and go home, man. I don't want to see Bill on nobody's TV. Bill, go sit down somewhere. So this is uh, Shakar. Uh, she is our best hope at getting the gold uh, in the Olympics this year. But she's going up against one of my favorite track stars of all time. Shorty is one of the men. I've been, I've been following her since the last Olympics. And I'm talking about Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Oh, man. I can't wait for that, man. That's going to be, ooh, man, that's going to be good. I can't wait for that, man. Like, just to see them, like, posturing around each other, going back and forth. And then if they can both make it to the final. Ooh! Man, I'm so hyped for the Olympics this year, man. I'm, I'm hyped for the track and field. I'm hyped for the 200. Uh, I'm hyped for the 400. Uh, Allison Felix. Like, I, I don't know who the 400, who the final is going to be, but I know... Uh, there's Cornada Hayes, there's Allison Felix, and then Waitlin Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, I think is her name. Man, that 400 team gonna be sick too. Oh man, the women's 400, Jamaica against the U.S. I can't wait for that shit, man. So I'm gonna be watching the track and field for for the 100, the 200, and the 400 women's. I don't really care about the men's uh, track and field no more since Usain Bolt retired. Uh, and then for the uh, 
And then for the Jamaican squad, I'm going to be watching them too. And then I'm going to also be watching the women's Dominican volleyball team and the Dominican men's baseball team who also, you never know, who also, yeah, she sure is. She's from LSU. Who, who also uh, stand to do some really big things, man. I'm really excited about the Dominican Republic and their chance to medal uh, in the Olympics. All right, man, that's all I got, man. Friday, please tune into the show Friday, Friday night. What I'm going to start doing, uh, I'm asking you brothers to join me on Patreon because what I'm going to start doing is after I finish my Friday night live stream, I'm unlisting the video and I'm moving it to Patreon. So that way, if you're not able to catch it live, you can still watch it, and I ain't got to worry about the video being taken down. You see what I'm saying? What this dude, Kim123, is doing is he's waiting until I finish my video, and then he finds something in the video, and then he screenshot it, and then he take the timestamp, and then that's what he send to YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? So by me unlisting the, the video off top, as soon as it finishes getting unlisted, and I'm putting it to Patreon. So, if you're interested in joining my Patreon, all you got to do is send me an email, and here's my email address. I just wrote it in the chat. The reason that I'm writing it in the chat and not sending it uh, or not posting it out there, again, is because there's haters out there, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be 100 with my content now as far as the stuff that I post, uh, the, stuff that I'm, the stuff that I'm talking about, as well as where we're trying to move the channel. I got some really, really exciting news to announce Friday. Uh, but I'm going to wait until Friday to do that. So, hope you boys have a good day. We'll catch you on the next one.